China's breakthrough with SMIC's 2 nanometer chip is a moment that demands our full attention, because this is about more than just chips. It's about how the entire global ecosystem of innovation, power, and influence is shifting under our feet. This technology leap is both a symbol and a driver of a larger story, a relentless, strategic push by China to become completely self-reliant, to outthink sanctions, and to build an independent future in the most critical area of modern technology. Let's start by unpacking the technology a little deeper. Chip manufacturing is insanely complex, one of the most precise and demanding processes humans have ever created. When we say two nanometers, it's not just a marketing number. It means we are literally controlling matter at the atomic scale, pushing electrons around through channels that are just a few atoms wide. At this scale, quantum effects and physical limits start to appear. Electrons can tunnel through barriers, heat dissipation becomes a nightmare, and variability in manufacturing can cause huge problems. So making a working 2 nanometer chip is like threading a needle at a molecular level, and it's a massive engineering achievement. But SMIC did this without the industry's crown jewel EUV lithography machines, the lasers that etch these tiny patterns onto silicon wafers. These EUV machines are the product of decades of R&D, costing hundreds of millions of dollars each, produced by just one company in the world, ASML, in the Netherlands. The U.S. has weaponized this dependency, blocking SMIC's access. The assumption was simple. No EUV means no next-gen ships. SMIC would be stuck. Not so fast. What SMIC has done instead is to innovate with older technology, but with an extremely clever workaround called multi-patterning. Multi-patterning layers multiple exposures to build up complex circuits that would normally be etched in one go with EUV. Imagine painting a complex mural by hand in multiple passes, instead of spraying it in one shot with a stencil. It's slower, more expensive, and more error-prone, but with enough expertise and innovation, you can still pull off masterpieces. This is a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of engineering, making the impossible possible by finding new paths when old ones are blocked. It's also a powerful statement. You don't always need the most advanced tools. If you can creatively use what you have, you can leap ahead. That's a mindset that's fundamental to breakthrough innovation. Now add to this mix the collaboration between SMIC and Huawei. Huawei, under relentless U.S. sanctions, has invested billions in chip R&D, determined to break the chains of dependency on Western technology. Huawei's expertise in design, combined with SMIC's manufacturing know-how, creates a potent synergy almost like a tech fusion reactor powering rapid progress. This secret partnership, swapping resources and insights, helps explain how China is pushing through technological barriers despite the sanctions. But tech innovation is only half the story. The other half is China's broader strategic push for tech self-reliance. China has been quietly building domestic supply chains for every part of chip making, from silicon wafer production, chemical processing, to even developing alternative equipment. This is the equivalent of building a whole industrial kitchen so you don't have to rely on your neighbors for ingredients. It's a multi-decade strategic investment aimed at breaking free from Western dependencies. Because if you control the supply chain, you control the game. Think about it. In the past, sanctions worked because cutting off access to advanced machinery or materials could stall production. But China's investments in local manufacturing mean that sanctions lose impact. It's like a fortress becoming self-sustaining no longer vulnerable to siege. Now, zoom out. What does this mean for the global tech ecosystem? First, the major players like NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm, and Taiwan's TSMC face an existential challenge. NVIDIA's entire AI chip business depends on pushing the envelope of chip technology. Their GPUs have been the backbone of modern AI development, but if China floods the market with two nanometer chips at lower cost, NVIDIA's dominance is at risk not just in China, which is huge on its own, but globally. Cost advantages at this scale could disrupt markets, forcing NVIDIA to rethink strategy, pricing, and R&D investment. Intel, meanwhile, has struggled to keep pace. Their 7M chips are only now ramping, and 3M is on the horizon. But if SMIC nails 2M mass production first, Intel risks becoming obsolete, losing customers, and falling into irrelevance. That's not just a tech problem. That's a national security concern for the U.S., which relies heavily on Intel's technology. Qualcomm, the king of mobile chips, is also vulnerable. They depend on TSMC's cutting-edge fabs. If SMIC's 2 nanometer chips prove better, faster, and cheaper, Qualcomm could see its grip on the smartphone market slip away, especially as China pushes to reduce reliance on foreign tech. 
And then there's Taiwan, the geopolitical heart of the chip universe. TSMC has been the undisputed leader for years, producing 3M and 5M chips for virtually every major tech player. Taiwan's entire economy is deeply tied to TSMC's success, but SMIC's rise threatens to upend this dominance. If China can mass-produce 2MM chips, Taiwan's monopoly and economic stability, Taiwan's position is even more precarious given its strategic importance to the U.S., TSMC's chips power, advanced U.S. military systems and critical infrastructure, with rising pressure from Washington to curb technology sales to Huawei and China, and with Beijing's growing influence, Taiwan is caught in the middle. It's a high-stakes geopolitical chessboard with chips as the key pieces. Now let's talk about the U.S. response. Publicly, Washington's silence is deafening. No major policy shifts, no new sanctions, no emergency press conferences, but behind the scenes, it's a flurry of activity. The tech embargoes and export controls once thought unassailable are clearly losing effectiveness. SMIC's breakthrough is a blow to U.S. strategy, a glaring reminder that technology warfare is a game of cat and mouse. When you block one path, others emerge. Expect more aggressive sanctions soon, possibly targeting the entire Chinese domestic supply chain or choking off Huawei's remaining R&D lifelines. The U.S. can't afford to sit still anymore. The global tech war is entering a new phase and the stakes are nothing short of total survival. Looking ahead, this breakthrough shifts the trajectory of global innovation. China is no longer playing defense. They're aggressively shaping the future, aiming for absolute independence. And that means more breakthroughs, more rapid tech evolution, and a world where technology is no longer Western-dominated. For innovators and entrepreneurs, this is both a challenge and an opportunity. The future of tech innovation is increasingly multipolar. It won't be dominated by any single country or company. Instead, it will be shaped by a complex interplay of competing visions, collaborations, and strategic maneuvering. The rise of China's chip technology signals a broader shift, a rewriting of the rules for innovation, trade, and global power. The old assumptions are no longer valid. The game is changing, and everyone must adapt fast. So what does this mean for the average person? It means the devices we rely on, smartphones, computers, AI assistants, could soon be powered by fundamentally different technology built halfway around the world. It means the next wave of AI breakthroughs could come from new players in unexpected places. It means geopolitical tensions will increasingly revolve around who controls the invisible infrastructure of the future. In short, the future just got a lot more unpredictable and a lot more exciting.